are Kilo 2 Papa Mike Delta Paul here. I'm at Moraine State Park uh, just north of Pittsburgh about 25 miles or beautiful park up here. I uh, love to activate uh, this park. Uh, beautiful views and uh, today I'm going to have a very short video show you uh, just a testing uh, setup that I'm going to use. I'm going to try the True USDX uh, five watt radio have never used it before uh, just took it out of the box so gonna spend a little time learning it before I turn the camera back on do some CW and uh, also gonna be checking out this little mesh type uh, ground plane uh, radial thing I don't know what to call it I guess it's a, a ground plane of a mesh and uh, saw a couple of videos on it we'll test that out too and uh, also going to show you how small I've uh, gone here. I know other people go small with their kits uh, for going out pot of soda, but uh, I wanted to see how small I could go, and I'll show you about my little my little go bag uh, with my small gear. Uh, but uh, yeah, Kilo 2 Papa Mike Delta. Hope you stick around and uh, watch this uh, short video on this uh, uh, new gear that I'm using and uh, new setup. So uh, stand by, Kilo 2 Papa Mike Delta. All right, Kilo 2 Papa Mike Delta here back uh, to show you my little uh, kit here that I'm going to use today for my POTA activation. Uh, here is the uh, radio kit and uh, here is the antenna kit uh, and uh, a little bit of coax. Literally the entire operation will fit into these three bags, of course. If you have a, a knapsack or a backpack, whatever they call them these days, um, that's it, you know, you can bring all sorts of food and water and all stuff because this is all you'll need. So let's uh, take a quick peek here first at the, uh, at the radio bag. Um, and uh, we'll take a quick peek here. This is the true uh, USDX that I'm gonna be uh, trying today. Got uh, a little paddle here and a pair of headphones, one ear headphones and a, a talent cell. Uh, 12-volt uh, uh, battery, which will uh, certainly last all day uh, at 5 watts. Uh, got some uh, cables and stuff in here, a pen and whatnot. Uh, and then on the other side, uh, we'll see that. Open that up here. I got my logbook and cables, uh, various cables. I also have a GPS dongle to do... Uh, you know, my stuff for uh, if I don't have uh, Wi-Fi, I can get a good GPS lock if I want to do FT8 and things like that. So this little radio here uh, that is very exciting. Uh, a lot of people are using it these days. Um, I've never used it. I've <laughs> never turned it on. So this is a real experiment. Uh, but it'll do uh, SSB and uh, CW and digital modes uh, on four different bands. Uh, I think 80, 40, 30, and 20. Uh, so I'm going to be on 20 today. Simpl I would like to be on 15 or 17, but maybe I'll get another one that does the uh, the higher bands. So, but uh, very cool stuff. Um, again, that's the entire package. Let's take a quick peek at the uh, the antenna package uh, here, and it goes into a little thing called a pack pod. You can buy those on Amazon. Uh, so I use the uh, M1 Echo Echo Charlie, I think it is, slide winder, uh, 10 to 40 uh, meters. I like this antenna. I really think it's really good. Um, I don't, I've never tested it against the Wolf River coil. I just like this coil better. It gives me a much more cleaner, much more, a more cleaner um, or a cleaner connection to the to the coil. I've got the uh, Wolf River Coil uh, tripod, which will be actually sitting on this mesh, so I won't use the radials. You can see I kind of connected the radials to the legs themselves. Uh, I think I wrote an article about that for our local club. Uh, this is the uh, connector. And then I use the smallest whip uh, that comes along with it right? Uh, I don't know what this is, 56 inches or something like that, but it fits nicely in the bag. And of course, the longer the whip, the better. Uh, but uh, for this test, I'm going to use the short whip. And that's the entire package uh, that I have for today. Uh, pretty cool if you're into small. 
And uh, let me go back here a little bit like that. That's the entire package unpacked. And uh, when I get it all set up, uh, we'll take a quick peek. Uh, I'll hopefully be doing a couple of CW contacts. Okay, Kilo 2, Papa Mike Delta. All right, Kilo 2, Papa Mike Delta. I've got the antenna set up there. You'll see that I don't have the radials connected to the tripod, uh, to the uh, M1 Echo Echo Charlie Slidewinder. Very short whip antenna. And here's the mesh, uh, 36 by 84. Four, I think it is. I think I'll buy a wider one just to check it out. Uh, what if a wider one will do work better? Uh, but I did do a SWR scan. Couldn't get it lower than this, uh, but uh, we're looking at about 1.39 at 14194. Uh, wanted to be a little lower on the uh, CW portion, but I think we're good to go. We're definitely below 1.5. So, um, yeah, we're going to give this guy a shot, uh, see how it works uh, on CW here in a little bit. Kilo 2, Papa Mike Del. Okay, so I just called CQ. I got a couple of folks in there, uh, N4SAX and W5WMQ. Um, so, yeah, I'm pretty impressed. Uh, the, the, the audio is impossible to, to, to use on this speaker. Uh, I don't know if I'm doing something wrong. Uh, but uh, I did get it to, I just got two contacts, and uh, I'm spotted on the spotting page, W5, WMQ, okay, so got that right there, and um, and then N4SAX, so I'm pretty familiar with. Uh, so this system does work, I can't really see the signal reports and things of that nature yet, but uh, I'm pretty impressed. I, I have to tell you, this, this whole setup here is pretty awesome, but you're going to have to bring some headphones uh, which I don't like to use, or a speaker, a powered speaker, to get a good, uh, robust sound out of this thing. I'm going to continue to try to make contacts, definitely going to try to make 10, uh, and uh, figure out how to do the uh, uh, signal, uh, see the signal strength of these, uh, 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 you know, people that are getting me. But yeah, awesome stuff. Go out, try different stuff, play with your radios, have a good time. Look at this tiny little setup. Uh, actually, not that expensive either. You know, this 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 is uh, really inexpensive gear. Uh, so uh, this is not a rich man's hobby, and you can have a lot of fun uh, with uh, radio uh, if you just invest a few bucks. Obviously, invest the time to learn, uh, but it's an awesome time to play radio. Uh, it's 75 degrees here, so just perfect weather. Look at that sky. Oh, you can't beat it being outdoors. Poda soda rules. Kilo, Kilo 2, Papa Mike Delta. Uh, we'll catch you down the airways.